Okay, um, this video, I warn you now, is going to be fairly lengthy, but there's good reason to be. Um, I start off talking about the um, tailplane, covering the tailplane with a new material called a Feather Cutter from um, Angel Wing Designs. And I was just developing techniques as it went along. So uh, my apologies, you can always fast forward it to bits. But I, I literally have never used this product before until I started videoing. I came across some ideas as I went along. Um, I'm sharing them everybody. If you've got other ideas, uh, you think I'm doing something wrong, then by all means, please make a comment. I've never used this material before. I never profess to be a covering expert. But uh, anyway, we start off with the uh, tail surfaces for the Sinbad. And then I get completely carried away covering the wings. Enjoy. <laughs> okay, well, welcome back. Um, we've done the wings, we've done the fuselage, they're all ready to sand. Um, next step is preparing the tail surfaces. Now, just a couple of little tips that I found on the way. Um, I've not gone mad with the sanding, I have literally just rounded the uh, leading edge off. Um, the tail plane, the elevator section, I've not thinned it right out, they're very thin anyway. One thing I have done, I found this quite flexible here, and I've just whipped in just a little bit of super glue, just here, and just across the edge there, so it's not sticking out or anything, but that has actually tightened that up just a little bit. And also for the fin and the rudder, all I've done is I've just given the uh, uh, the fin just a little bit of a, an edge and I've just rounded off the back of the um, rudder. The only other thing I have done is is I have put a little edge on the elevator so that we know that can move up and down. The other thing to remember is um, I've just rounded the um, end of the rudder. Now, one last thing, sorry, um, I left all the little dots in while I did the sanding because that helped with the structure. So if you're going to do, if this is one of the first things you're building, um, just leave all the blanks in, do all your sanding first, then pop the blanks out. And then just to sand up the blanks, all I actually did was I just wrapped a little bit of um, sand, little very 800 uh, grit sandpaper just to clean any of the little holes. We need to be, don't overdo the sand on this because it's very thin already. Now, okay, so I'm, this is a bit of an experimentation. Andy from Angel Wing Designs very kindly sent me some of this uh, material to try, which they're going to be uh, selling on their um, website. It's called, it's calling it Feather Cover. Um, I've never used it before, so what I've done is I have just cut this this one of the formers out and all I've done is I've just cut that out because that's going to give me something to experiment with now with this it's got a matte side and a shiny side and I'm led to believe that the shiny side um, goes down now I, I, I am honestly doing this I've never done this before um, I've got the iron to about mm, it's on number three of four, so it's three quarters of the way round. Uh, I'm just going to give this a go and let's see what happens. Well, it's definitely stuck. It's definitely stuck down. That's a good start. So what I'm going to do is let's just tack around this the whole way. Seems to go on very quickly, very nicely. I'm led to believe that it doesn't shrink a lot. So I'm just going to put that on there like so. It's just beginning to curve up the... Um, bearing in mind that this is very thin, this is going to, just going to be affected by the heat anyway. So I'm just cutting this all off like so I might do as an experiment just try this with an edge to see what it's like to put on as an edge 
that seems to go quite well. I say I've never used this material before in my life. And that's gone very well. Um, let's do the same this side, make sure it's not a fluke. Well, I think either I've got lucky with the heat or I'm just, it's years of experience, but that appears to have gone down quite well. Um, now, what I am going to do is I've got another piece here. And so remembering shiny side down now one thing one little bit of advice if you go for this um, it's very good but if you leave it uncut it tears quite quickly quite easily so make sure if you're cutting out bits that you've actually cut the whole thing out if you've got one little bit that's snagged it's might, you might actually tear it but at the moment all's looking good so I've just left that down there like so so again shiny side down I'm just going to throw that on there like so so you're getting to see this I, I honestly I have not done any practicing with this I'm going to put that on there like so I'm keeping it moving fairly quickly I'm just going to bring that over the top like so the other reason for me doing both sides is I want to see how it adheres to itself. So that's all done. You can actually see, if you look very carefully, you can actually see um, where the adhesive's gone in. Now, remember with these small structures, when you've put a bit of heat on there, just this would be for normal uh, covering, just keep your hand down on it and let the, let the wood cool off a little bit. And then, so this will be the real test, just to see how this, how this goes over like that. So this is purely an experiment. Oh. It seems to stick to itself very nicely. Um, let me just tidy that up, like so, and throw that round. Now what we will do is, just for neatness, I'm just going to take this off of here. Okay, nice sharp knife. Now, so I've got a basic structure there, but the middle needs shrinking. Um, that's not really bowed, which is great. So I'm just going to hold that down and then just lightly over that like so, do the other side wow feather cutter from Angel Wing Designs. I think I'm going to look forward to covering that. It's very, very easy to use. The only thing I would be careful of is that to make sure that when you've done your cut, so let me just demonstrate what it is I'm talking about. So I get about halfway through there, and you've left it, it will tear quite easily. But when it's on, um, superb. You can hear. So that's it there. As I say, I've just, um, honest Indians, I've just put that on live, or as live as the video can be. But that's uh, pretty good. I'm just going to overdo it now, just to see what happens if we really overdo it with the heat. That looks great. So I'm going to have a go doing the control surfaces. Let's see how we go. But you can hear. 
and it's, it's actually made it very strong as well. Um, yeah, cool. So thumbs up from me. Uh, so everybody at Angel Wing Designs, thanks for sending me that. Um, I think also the other nice thing is it will, when you come to do the um, hinges, I think it will be quite easy by the feel of it to be able to do a live hinge with this as well, which is quite good. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be experiment number two. Um, I've put the two together. And what I'm going to do is, I've got, just got a couple of rulers holding the material down in place. So my theory is, I'm going to have a go at doing a live hinge using the material. And let's see what happens. So I've just put a ruler on that because that's just beginning to bow up slightly with the heat. I'm just going to put a little bit of, so I've basically tacked that all the way around. And uh, I'll find out in a minute if that's worked or not. So I think what I'm going to do is then I'm just going to just cut round, giving myself a little bit of over cover. I'm doing this for the first time and I'm videoing it while I'm doing it for the first time so if there's anybody screaming at me don't do it like that I'm going to find out in a moment All right. it appears to be on giving myself just enough to actually go around the complete structure. And then what I'll do is, when I'm happy with this, I will go and do the same underneath as well. Gone. It's going to be one of those things where you're either going to be it's a hero to zero very quickly.
Right. Well, you didn't warn me, did you? Of course, what I've done is I've pushed the elevator up, and of course, it was so tight, it was butted. But, interesting thing is, I actually managed to peel the elevator off, reposition it, and then re-glue re -glue it back down, or reheat shrink it back down. So, um, that's a double win. Um, so, I saved that, and to be honest with you, it was only because the battery went in my camera. Yeah, 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 they're all saying. Anyway, that is going on very nicely. It's even coping with the curves very nicely, and I've not even had to put any sort of um, slashes in the in these bits to get the compound curve round here, so that's uh, another win. gone all the way around with this and then what I'm going to do and I've got it all round I'm just going to make sure that all the edges are done so you're, you're seeing this for the first time and it's the first time I've ever used it so uh, yeah, I made a mistake, but actually the material is so good, it's allowed me to repair my mistake. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tack this just a little bit more. I'm actually going to leave just doing the edges. But I'm actually going to leave it until I've done the other side. Because then I can do that like I've shown you in the past. I can flip between hot, cold, hot, cold. Do the other side so we don't end up with a warp in it. So that might look a little bit baggy at the moment. I've actually got the, the live hinge working. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. I got completely confused with which way up I was then. Right, there you go. So, trying to be frugal because I haven't got a lot of this stuff. And I'd really like to have a go at doing the wings. Don't panic, I'm not going to do a video of me doing the wings as well. But I just thought I'd like to share this with you. I know a few people might be interested. I quite like the idea of being able to stick this down like so. Right, so, other side. <coughs> other side, I'm just going to tack round. I'm keeping it moving. It's the same techniques. There's no different technique to using this I've found than anything else. Right. Okay, I'm just going to cut round before. You don't need to see me doing that, and then I'll come back when I've finished the heat shrinking. Okay, so I have done the elevator tailplane, I've done the rudder, 
um, I did another hinge literally with two strips either side that you can't see where it is um, I tried one side I was a little bit concerned it might delaminate and peel off because it was uh, but look at that that's fine that's absolutely fine now a couple of tips I found that um, particularly with any of these very small bolster structures that when I'd finished using any heat I'd stuck the ruler across it with a bit of weight and that just helped sort out any distortions. Now finally, a couple of little things. I did have a go at spraying some um, acrylic spray. Uh, just, I literally use this as a test piece. I put some masking tape. Not bad on the um, solid um, balsa, but there's a little bit of bleed. Um, you know, it's, it was just a standard masking tape. I'm not the world's best sprayer of anything. Um, I have also tried using a standard film on it. The thing I found with the standard film is you need to go for a lower temperature. And one final thing, I whacked the iron right up as hot as I could go and just left it on here to see what would happen. And um, It's very, very slightly, just here, very, very slightly discoloured. But apart from that, um, it's it's... I'd say it's a good product in as much as it's virtually impossible to burn an hole through it. Um, Structure-wise, I mean, it really does. That really has given that some strength. Um, so that should take care of most landings. Let's <laughs> see if you saw my last video, me crashing into a hedge. Um, anyway, so that's the feather cutter from uh, Angel Wing Designs. I am going to have a go at trying the wing. Okay, I wasn't going to do the covering of the wings with this new material, but um, I just stumbled across something. I thought, well, do you know what? People might be interested in it anyway. So, you'll notice that this wants to roll up all the time. And it's a bit of a nightmare trying to get it square. I started faffing around with these pegs. And then I thought to myself, why don't I use a little go with some mount spray just to hold it in place. So I had a test piece there and it works perfectly. So what I intend to do is, is I'm just going to spray just the little end here of the mount spray. A little bit of the tip. That means I can just get it in position. I'm not worrying about it wanting to roll up all the time and getting out of position. So, say, never done this before. This is a complete experiment. You most likely find that um, if this video doesn't get posted, I've died of the fumes because I've got no idea. But um, I thought, well, I'll give it a go. So this is just mount spray. So I have just given this the slightest little bit of a spray here, along the trailing edge, and here. And I am going to about to find out whether I'm going to be ordering a new wing from Angel Wing Designs because I've just gone and ruined this one. And I'm going to put that on there like that. It's just to hold it in place. The other benefit with this is the fact that it doesn't shrink a lot. So I think if we can get this into a fairly good place. Now, I have no idea if that's been done before. But I'm going to make a claim on that one. Um, that works perfectly. So all we've got to do now is hope that the um, it takes with the iron. <laughs> So I have, I'll tell you what I am going to do. Also the other thing you'll notice is I am only doing half a wing. Deliberately, because this is a new technique and I didn't know how it was going to go, I bottled it. Um, what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to take some of this off now. Because that actually stops a lot of the curl over.
I'm not going mad with the shrinking at the moment. So I've got no idea what this is going to do to this structure. This is just a question of getting it down. Let's see what happens. I've still got this temperature setting on number three. I'll just step that up just a little bit. The only thing I have been impressed with is how this goes round these curves. I mean, look at that, I mean normally I would be spending ages just cutting loads of little segments into that to get that to go round. The next question is, do I spray on the top or don't I? Right, so, um, there you go, that's exactly using the spray mount, never done it before. I'm now just going to work around and uh, every now and again, just going to check it, it's not warping at all. Okay, so, I've given the top just a very, very quick lick. I didn't want to do it over this bench because I don't want to make this bench sticky. So, here's my second bit. Interesting to note that the sheet that Angel Wing sent, you can actually, in the width, you can actually do a width, one wing and a, 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 a sheet, basically one and a half wings. Spit it out there. Right. didn't go mad with this on the top so I was worried about it affecting the uh, affecting the, the covering on the you know, so in other words that spray was going on the inside of the uh, bottom surface but it's actually done its job it's done it there enough for me just to be able to hold this in place right basic wing finished um, It's hardly got, there's a tiny, well you can see it, it's, it's just a little bit baggy. So what I am going to do, is I'm just going to do like I did with the uh, pug. I'm just going to do a couple of sections here. Flip it over, a couple of sections, and then slowly work my way. Now, one thing I have found is that if I get a ruler like that, like so, I've got a couple of heavy weights here and what I have found is, is what I did with the tail surfaces is that after I've done a few I might just sit it back down on there just to relax it but let's see how we go and now I'm just going to do this centre panel Doesn't appear to be warping. I'm going to do one more on the outs on the top surface. You notice how I'm just keeping, like I've always say with all I'm covering, is just keep it moving. I'm just going to hold that there for a second, and let's flip it over. Let's do these two. The same. Flip it back. 
much is to hold it. And I'm just going to slowly work my way out. I'm now just going to be on the safe side and do a panel at a time. It's got a very, very slight odour to it, and I noticed that when I was doing the uh, tail plane. It's not an offensive odour, it's not like I've gone down with a Covid cough or anything. I don't appear to be getting any reaction with the uh, contact adhesive that I've used. But I'm just taking my time with this. You can actually, when you look at it, you can actually see where it's adhered and where it hasn't done. Which is a great thing. I'm really liking this stuff. Right, now final piece is the one is the tip so this is where I'm hoping that the contact adhesive has really paid off I would also say is that you can afford to be slightly more aggressive with the heat because I found in my test piece it was very difficult to burn a hole in it. Not you want to be overheating it. Well, one Simbad wing covered in feather cover. Oh, look, look at that. Let me just show you that. I'm not the world's best coverer. There might be the odd little um, wrinkle might appear, but that's actually not warped it at all. So that's a big thumbs up for me. Um, I'm just having an iron about whether I'm brave enough to have a go at doing the fuselage with it, but uh, that is definitely a win.